Good morning gamers, it's Softkitty99 and I'm in Battle for Azeroth and today I'd like to speak about a specific achievement. A fishing achievement! Now don't turn off, don't turn off, this is a good one. Baiting the enemy. If you're Alliance, it asks you to fish up Utica, which is a specific type of fish, within Dazara Law in Zordazar. Now that's in the Horde Zones in Dazara Law itself, which is the very centre of the city where the Alliance have their base camp and to fish up the fish Utica. Now the fish can only be fished up within specific Utica pools within Dazara Law and it can be up to about half an hour before a school will spawn so you could be hanging around for a while inside the enemy capital. So see how this could be interesting for different sorts of people and it's a bit of a challenge. Now if you are Horde you will have an equivalent one asking you to come to the centre of the Alliance capital. It will specifically ask you to come to Proudmoor Keep, which is this island here, and the fish itself can only be fished up in the water, which is right here on the map. This is the only location that I've been able to find it. This is like a pool that sort of sweeps around the side here. So you've got to come to here. So I think the easiest way for the Horde to access the place is to come to this location here. So of course it's very advantageous to have a water strider or a turtle or a manta ray, something that can make you travel faster in water. And I'll show you from here how you kind of go up here to here. Let me show you how to get there. So here we are on the map, turn around so we're pointing in the right direction. And you can walk up the side here. You have to kind of go around a little bit to get up. And then you, there's a flight of steps straight here. A little way through here. More steps up here. It might look like quite a long way and you can see there are quite a few mobs. But here's the water right here. And it kind of goes around the side of the keep. So if you're a horde, you're probably going to want to try and jump over the... Can you jump over the fence? No, maybe you can't jump over the fences. That's a shame. If you could jump over the fence, that would have been just so much easier. But you can ride across at the end here, you see. And let me show you on the map where I am. So this section here that goes around here, this is where the water is. It's a shame it's not shown in blue so that you can see where it is. So this whole section here around here that's a bridge going across it so this section here is where the water is and then you have to hang around and look for a fishing pool and look there is a fishing pool right here so let me grab my fishing rod I can't remember what the fish is called for the I'd put it on the Rasborolus so there you go the Rasborolus school is the one that the horde would be looking for here and these fish are quite rare to get hold of, but they do vendor for 50 gold, so you might find Horde and Alliance players fishing up the ones in their capitals in order to get a little bit of extra gold. See there, it's worth 50 gold, and that's what it looks like. The Rasborolus, that's what the Horde need to come for. So, now it's time to move to the Horde capital, which is going to be much harder since I'm um, Alliance. Hmm. I'm going to die. I just know I'm going to die. Let's go take a look. And here we are in Zultasar. Here you can see the map of Dazaralor. We're actually heading for the Crafter's Terrace. So if you have been playing as a Horde, you can see where you need to go, which is probably an advantage because as I go running here, I end up going the wrong way. So I'll cut it uh, when I go the wrong way and point you in the right direction. It's quite a long straight road in here, up over this bridge. See the big sentinels at the side? Those guys hit hard, so try and avoid them as much as you can to die as few times as possible. If you've got a stealth class, this might be easier to do. I'm trying to do it on a warrior, so can't stealth, can't hide. Let's just run. Straight up the path, up the stairs. Keep going up here. Take the slight turn there. At the top of these stairs, you need to go right. I made a mistake and went the wrong way. <laughs> so you go right around onto the crafter's terrace and round to where this pool is. There are two little pools here at the end of the crafter's terrace. This is the bigger of the two pools and off to the side of where you can see the drum is the second little pool. Here's the map showing you exactly where the pools are in Dazaralor. 
and this is the route that I actually took into the city just so you can see which way I came in now you need to fish up the Utica fish from a fishing pool inside Dazara Law if you're an Alliance player to get the baiting the enemy achievement these fishing pools have a spawn timer and uh, it can be I think up to about half an hour because I was here almost half an hour before a pool spawned in order for me to get my fish you can see that I'm stood with my back against the building the reason for that is one of those sentinel guys is patrolling up and down near these pools and if you're on the road side of the pool you will aggro the sentinel here we are about 30 minutes later and the pool has spawned in the little tiny one at the other side of the little shelter area and you can see the fishing pool and here we can see me getting the achievement when I fish up my first Utica fish so once the pool spawn it's actually quite easy to get the achievement the problem is getting into the enemy city and hanging around until a pool spawns for you to fish up your fish I came and did it with war mode turned off and not many of the whole players even bothered me a couple of them just looked at me and nobody attacked me so I, I, it worked out really well in fact my PvP turned off inside the city because I was here for so long if you really like PvP you can of course come in and try and do it on war mode I don't recommend coming in on your own if you're going to do it that way come in with a group of friends and uh, hang around until you all get the achievement and have fun doing it I'm going to go out of the city in a different direction I'm going to show you the route that I take to get out of the city if you run along the craftsman, craftsman's terrace and then go left across a bridge and then left again and you get out of the city as I get up a mount off and start to run away you can see the sentinel we've been avoiding on his patrol route and then as we go along the road here we're heading towards the craftsman's terrace so this is where the horde all learn their crafting and then as you go a bit further down go past the big dinosaur then turn left across the bridge and then left again and you're out of the city and this is about where I'm going to die hope you've enjoyed today's episode have fun getting this achievement and I'll see you in the next video from Sofkitty99 goodbye and happy gaming